What is up guys, Reddit guy here coming to a brand new video in the past couple of days. I I passed 130 subscribers and I want to say thank you to all the people that watches my video. I know that you will say, yo, why are you why are you congratulating everybody for 130 subscribers? I don't even know that many people watches my video, so so today I want to bring you something brand new. Uh one of my friends just sent me this, and it this is just oh, I'm gonna say one thing, one thing only. Guys, I'm not a fanboy of Sony, but when facts are facts, I just talk to you with the truth, and that's it. And I will read you the article. This is from Metro Entertainment. The PS5 is better console, says a developer from Cry Crytek Engineer. Simpler to develop. Okay, I'm gonna read you the article and I'm gonna leave it down below a link down below Okay, so before you go No, the link is down below so you can check it you can google it and search it But by the way, I want to say that the developer kind of like retracted because he didn't want like the heat from Microsoft fanboys or everybody like that and believe me all these days many 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 fanboys have come up with their swords and kill people so, and I quote, let's start, my friends. I, a Crytek rendering engineer believes that the PS5 is the better console compared to the Xbox Series X. It's much simpler to make games for. That's what I've been saying all this goddamn time. While we know a lot more about the both PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, from a technical standpoint, with ray tracing in particular being the hot new thing, is arguably it's still too early to tell which two consoles will perform better. One insider previously claimed that the two were equally as powerful. However, new claims suggest that the PS5 may have a distinct advantage, advantage that will make while well, make it more favorable, at least for the developers. In an interview with Persian website Vigiato, which helpfully is translated by Twitter user man 4 dead Crytek and uh, rendering engineer Ali Salahi spoke about specs for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. His reasons for saying is that the PlayStation 5 is much simpler to develop for and that it's much easier for developers to reach a peak performance. The developers are saying PlayStation 5 is the easiest console they have ever coded on to reach its peak performance software-wise. Coding for the PS5 is extremely simple and has so many abilities that make the developers so free. In total, I can say that the PlayStation 5 is a better console. As for the Xbox Series X, according to Salahi, while it's possible for the rich peak performance, it can only be done under the most ideal circumstances. If all parts can work efficiently on the Xbox Series X, alongside out its GPU, it can hit the number in practice, which it doesn't seem so possible, besides all these are software parts too. He even added that the developer's gains for the Xbox Series X might be somewhat difficult because of its software, software and the fact that it uses two different kinds of RAM that differ the bandwidth. Since the developers are likely to want to use the higher bandwidth, Salahi believed that could cause issues. Because the total amount of the things we want to put in the fat, uh, in fast parts is so much that it may cause problems. And if we want to support 4K, it will be another whole story. So there will be some things that will hold GPU uh, will hold the GPU off. Huh? Okay, there's some, there's much more, and I'm gonna read you a part that really caught my eye, and it, it was this part. It's interesting to thought that comments paint a picture similar to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, except with roles reversed. Sony last gen console was was much more powerful on paper than Microsoft, but was awkward to program with for a few games were able to take full advantage of, with more with most multi-format games being superior on the Xbox 360. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you hear that? So what I'm trying to say is that yes, both consoles are powerful, both consoles will be amazing. I'm not saying that the Xbox Series X will fucking sucks. No. I'm saying that the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 5 has an advantage on the Xbox Series X. Yes, you can have the, you can have 14, 15, 16 teraflops, but all that matters is that the developers can ha make the game very smooth. 
Who makes the games? I want to tell you that question is to you. Do you make the games? No. Only you can make the games if you buy Dream or you fucking study on your college to make games. So, imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine Witcher 3. The Witcher developers. Sorry. Witcher developers. The Elder Scrolls developers. And Call of Duty developers using the power of the PS5 to uh, make games much more faster much more easier easy to develop and they don't have to take uh, roots to fucking delay the game it's easier it's easier their things will be much more easier to them and i know many features they want to put on the on the consoles and all that but what matters is that the play the, the consoles are very very easy to develop and very easy to understand for the developers because if the developers can't understand it, we're fucked. That is the problem I want to uh, talk to you guys. So if the developers cannot game, cannot code the 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 format on the consoles, like on the get go, we're fucked. The game will be delayed. There will be problems, and there will be problems on the long road. So what I'm trying to say right now is that. Whatever you say about the PlayStation 5, whatever you say that the PlayStation is overheating, that, is, uh, that it sucks, that it's weak, all you can, all I can say to you is that you are wrong, my friend. You are a fanboy, and all you want to see is that the PlayStation 5 uh, collapses. Yes, I can say that the Xbox One was fucked up at its, uh, at its current rate, but the Xbox 360 was a massive console. And it was easier to develop. That is why the Xbox 360 triumphs over the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 was so difficult to develop games that not many developers wanted to work with the PlayStation 3. It took one year to delay the whole fucking console. Microsoft launched the Xbox 360 in 2005 and the PlayStation 3 was launched in 2006. And in a rate to code the PlayStation 3 was six months. Just make sure to talk that to your head. So, making the PS5 better to develop, better to understand for the developers, and reach peak for performance on a faster rate than the Xbox Series X, it's just mental. So, all I'm trying to say here, all what I'm trying to say in my videos for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, is that the PlayStation 5 Yes, it's a weaker console. The Xbox Series X is the powerful console. But the best to develop games right now is in the PlayStation 5. And you cannot argue with that. And I'm and you will say, oh, Crytek, which game, he ha which game those people have? Let me tell you something. Crytek developed the Cry Engine. Or the Cry Engine. That fucking engine is just superb. They created... Fucking Warface. They created Crisis 3, 2, and 1. Those games to this day are so difficult to run on PC that Crisis 1, that is old right now, I think it's 10 years or 12 years old, it takes a toll on a PC to run it at maximum settings. It's so good seeing those games that are all old but are running the Cry, uh, Cry Engine, uh, Engine so they can talk to you and say, yo, the PS5, it's much more easy to develop and render that on and optimize than in the Xbox Series X. They can sell, they can tell you that to your face. If you're telling me, oh, and why they retract it? Well, they retract it because they don't want the hate from fanboys. It always are like that. And all this saying that the X, the PlayStation 5 is overheating, blah 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 blah. Why they not talking about Microsoft? Why they only talking about the PlayStation 5? And I'm going to make a video about the PlayStation 4 when it was almost to launch that had a similar problem. Maybe I'll drop it today or tomorrow on the next day, but I will drop that video and I'll, I want to talk about that too. So guys, if you like the video, if you want, want to read the link, link this down below and go watch it. Go read it. It's a very good article. And please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like that. Uh, make sure you like the button. And if you don't like this video, leave a, leave a hate comment. And just like the video, it helps too. <laughs> but guys, thank you for 130 subscribers and 400 400 views on my video. That's that's real good. And I will try to bring you more videos about that. And I'll see you next time, the next random guy show. Peace.